Hey guys, Mark Lacey, Kaizen Tactical. We thought we'd take some time to do a little video to show you about the V3 Auto Trickler Combo with the FZ300i AMD scale and the integrated Trendtech Trickler Billet Base. So if you're interested or you're in the market, stick around, we're gonna pull all the boxes out, show you how they come packaged, show you how they're individually boxed, put them all together bit by bit and go through a few of the little tips and tricks associated with it. So um, stay watching. and you get the full combo, which is the scales, the trickler, and the throw. It all comes in a box like that and goes out via Australia Post. So it's a pretty big box, but it's a nice surprise to come home to, see it wrapped up. We've never had a damaged one. So, um, so yeah, it's a pretty good service. Okay, so that's that. Um, we are based in Brisbane. Our warehouse is in Brisbane, so everything is what the price that's quoted, which will be at the bottom of this um, video, uh, is uh, includes GST but plus postage. So if you wish to purchase it from Brisbane, you'll have to pay Australia Post out of our warehouse. Okay, in that box comes the V3 Auto Trickler Combo, which is a trickler and a throw combo. It's a really nice unit. This is straight from Adam McDonald out of Canada. And um, you may or may not know, but Kaizen is the Australian distributor for this product. So we're very proud of that. We do a lot of units. We have zero problems with them, um, but we do get a little bit of confusion with some users. So we just thought we'd take a little bit of that away. I'll pull all that apart and show you that in a minute. And this is the mighty AMD 300FZ scale. Now this is just a beautiful piece of equipment. It's a proper laboratory scale. So, um, so yeah, it's extremely accurate, way more accurate than most people need. It's a three decimal place, one second settle. So that's really important. But more importantly is it talks to the trickler. So a lot of people say to me, I just want the trickler, or I want the trickler combo. Um, and they've already got scales, but they're not AMD, or they're an AMD brand that doesn't support the trickler package. So just check with me first. I've had a lot of customers that have previously bought scales, and they do align, so everyone's happy. But I get a lot of people that buy them, they buy the trickler off us, and they won't work in their scale. They've bought a grey import, it doesn't have the proper connections in it, um, or they've bought it cheap from someone else and it's not the part number they thought it was. So um, again, comes very nicely packed. So we'll, we'll delve into that in a minute and, and show you. But before we do, I just wanted to talk about the A&D. So um, Kaizen's a, a, an Australian distributor for um, A&D scales. And I think that a lot of you guys are looking at blogs and looking at doing your research on um, tricklers and powder throw and you're looking at it on the US sites. Now the US sites are all 120FX. Now the shooting market over there is huge and predominantly hunting and outdoors, so the, the 120FX is, the, is their perfect choice. AMD Australia does not import the 120, so we can't sell it and, and haven't got it. However, the 300 is the next one up. It's only a capacity thing. The actual physical size is exactly the same. All the fittings and aftermarket products are exactly the same. So don't panic about thinking you're getting the wrong one. Um, and if 120s ever come into Australia, we will probably sell them. If you want to import your own 120, go for it. In fact, we don't stop you importing anything. You can buy direct off Adam. Um, we, uh, and on that subject, I might just cover it now. We get it off Adam. Um, we put our margin on it after we pay customs and taxes and pay the freight, uh, package it up and get it ready to go out. So, um, so yes, if you feel that you want to buy direct and have him ship it to your door, go for it. That's not our, our concern at all. We like to carry them in Australia um, and have Australian warranty and backup and service. So the 300FZ is the unit that we put with our complete package. We used to do the FX300, but 
most of our shooters, most of our customers are precision shooters. They're either bench rest or they're the top of their game. They're really looking to improve ESs and SDs. So they're not going to settle for second best. An FX will probably save you about $316 from memory. But the FZ comes with a built-in calibration feature. Now, the glory of that is whenever you shift it, leave it, you know, you might have it off for a month and then you turn it on. I leave my scales on. They're a laboratory scale. They can run all day. I, I leave mine on permanently. Um, but you can run them for, they, if you read the manual, it'll tell you four hours warm up period. A lot of people give them 10 minutes warm up and wonder why they wander. Someone will open the door, air conditioner comes on, someone's opened a window, the pressure's changed, the temperature's changed. Um, so I have, I've got into a habit now with my FZs of just, whenever I turn them on, I recalibrate. And it is awesome. I also pack mine up and take it to the range for load development. The days of using a cheap Chinese load cell, like one of the commercial devices that you buy, they look awesome, they work wonders with their little buttons on them, but they lie to you, unfortunately. So if you take the powder off that particular unit and stick it on an AMD scale, you'll see you'll be kernels short or kernels over on each throw, usually. Um, and um, yeah, I can prove that if you ever need to have a look at it. Okay, so that's the boxing. That's the 300 FZ. Um, let's get to it and pull them apart. We'll be right back. Okay guys, we're going to start with the uh, AMD FZ300i scale. We're going to pull him out of the box. Some of this packaging, it, it, it's really, it's really nicely done the way they do it. Grab the scale out of here. Okay, so we'll start with the scale, as you can see, it looks like that. Um, take some of that, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of that, and we'll get rid of that box. Now, this scale, when I first got mine, I thought, oh, awesome little thing, it feels so beautiful, I'm never going to shift it, I'm going to put it in a spot. Now, I don't want you to knock it around, but I now put mine in a foam box and take it to the range. I'm quite comfortable with that. I've never had a problem with it, and I don't know how many trips it's done in the car. Um, so I'll turn this around so I can see it, but it does come with this plastic cover, which you can leave on if you're in a dusty environment. Um, and then, obviously, if you, um, you can read the very extensive manual that comes with the scales. Um, most of us males probably won't read that, so you might need your wife to help you read that. Um, we put the pan on, we take these little fellas, put that there, that comes out of his bag, these pedestals go here. I'm just, I'm not going to do everything, I just wanted to show you a few of these steps so that we can eliminate another couple of questions. So they go in like that, everything's really nicely done. So this is called the breeze break. Um, stops, the, stops the wind or the breeze blowing on your, on your pan. These are your little uh, breeze break clear plastic uh, shields. Um, trust me, treat them like they're, they're, not, they're not the cheapest thing to buy, but they're beautifully made. But you will have to cut two of them. So just resist that for a while. I suggest a piece of ice cream container or thick, uh, you know, thick um, uh, printing paper or something just to get you a buy. Um, that, those pedestals go there, I'll come back to the bits that come with the trickler in a minute to show you how that all works. You've got your warranty forms for your scales, five year Australian warranty. Um, put that over there. Now, this, the reason I wanted to discuss this was the Australian supplied power supply. This power supply has an Australian socket on it and this is where one of the problems are, is that everyone wants to use this power supply. You can't use it, you've got to use the US power supply, which comes with the trickler, okay? So I'll, again, I'll talk to you about that in a second, but what I want you to do is when you first get your scales, plug this in, turn them on, and just make sure that it zeroes. So that 
if you ever had a problem down the track or something plays up or doesn't work correctly, you will be, um, we'll be able to minimise or eliminate another problem. So if we take that out of there, plug that into there, and plug that into there, plug that into there, and then we'll turn him on, let it warm up, it'll go through its cycle, and then it'll have that little arrow pop up, then go on, and it'll come up in grams, and it's ready to go. So if I don't breathe too heavily on those scales, once that re-zeroes, I'll be able to weigh that box. Um, it's a beautiful thing to use. So I just want you to do that, plug it in, make sure that works, um, and then we'll come back to that. So I'll turn him off, unplug that. Now, here's the tricky bit. Take this and get rid of it. I want you to put that back in its box and put that back in your scales box, right? You only ever want that if you want to use this on its own. So if you're going to use the scales on its own to weigh um, cases or projectiles or whatever, um, go for it, but, um, but otherwise you won't need it. You can, use, you can still weigh cases and projectiles with your powder system with the new power adapter. Okay. So, that's pretty much it. The scale has got all its bits, the lid sits on there, you put your um, breeze brakes in and you're ready and you're starting to weigh things. Okay, so guys, now we'll do the trickler um, or trickler throw combo. All comes in this box as we showed you before. I've just pulled it all apart and put it on the bench, so I'll bring those bits in bit by bit as we go. So, we have one little trickler. We have one throw. It's just beautiful stuff. Billet aluminium, absolutely gorgeous. Um, we have a trickler shaft. We have a third leg. We have a beautiful set of instructions. Uh, we have a hopper. We have a glass, shot glass. We have a power adapter for the US, travel adapter for the US power supply. We have some of those. We have the new electronic fitting for the back. That. Okay, so the next thing I say to my customers is when you get it out of the box, really importantly, you get this instruction. It's really nicely worded, really simple to read. I, I, you know, get a good coffee, get a stiff rum, and, um, and start reading it. You know, number one, install the extra foot for the trickler. All right, so we screw that in. That gives you your third leg so that you can adjust the angle of your trickler. Um, so the more you put that in, the further it leans back. Step two, put in your trickler tube. It's all really nicely done. Step three, take one of your drive belts. You get three, you get two spare drive belts. Um, put that on, and it's important that you've got a twist in the belt. It doesn't matter which way you twist it, but it's got to be twisted. So you put him on around there like that, and then twist it on to there, and then away you go. So that's in place. Um, anyway, step by step by step, it tells you which bit to do. Now, the other thing is, when you get it, I give you a couple of little Kaizen decals, so if you want to be cool, and you want to be part of the Kaizen club, put your little decal there so we know who you are when you send us a video. Thanks, guys. Okay, now, the kit comes with these little 3D plastic pins, and they go on here, when your breeze breaks on, Like that, like that, and like that. And then that sits back on there like that. So, that goes like that. Then you take this little fella here, again, really nicely done. And after anyone that had a V2 will know what I mean, you have to do a lot of work to get this done. Now this just fits on the, the factory AMD top pan. No more to do, that's it. 
that's how that works like that, beautiful. And then that goes back over there and sits on. And then of course, once you get into your scale, you'll have to put your little, um, your little stop in so that when you put your cup in, that it stops in a set spot. So that's got a self-adhesive tab on the back. Your scale goes in, that fits just under the, under the little nozzle. So it, it, it's just so good. You just don't spill powder these days. Um, now, once that's in its place, I'm trying to see this best for you to see how it works. That will go in, that will go through there like that and sit about there. Um, your hopper goes in, your hopper's got a, a safety lock on it so you can shut your powder off or open it. You can just look in the hole and see that it's closed, open. Then that fits in there. I will, I will warn you that that just slides in. There's no grub screw or anything, but that's so that you can package it and put it away. Um, so I have a habit now of when I tip my powder out, I pick the whole thing up and tip it out. I'll show you that when we go to the room. Um, so that's that. Then you've got to have, we supply you with the US travel adapter. Power supply goes into that. That goes into that. That goes into that. And um, this fella then plugs into here. We have tried the um, um, J car to try and find that socket with that power output. It's, it's just it's not something they make. So if you want a spline one, feel free. But uh, you do need this power supply, not the one out of the A and D scales box. Okay. So that's that. Um, now again, read every page of this twice. Don't just think oh, I've done it. I've done it. It's working. So we get these calls and they get to somewhere and they haven't calibrated it properly. So it's quite simple, step by step by step, but you've got to push a button, escape, push another button, escape, set the program. It, look, people tell me it takes them 15 minutes. Um, then you've got to take this little fella. So this is what comes, which is supplied with the, with the trickler combo. So you take those two screws out of your scale, if you can see that there, take those two screws out of the scale, simply push this one in, um, and it's marked as one and two, which of course is where you plug in your cables. Quite simple. Now, there is a little jump wire here, and one in 100 set of scales is reportedly needing that. I've not had one yet that's needed it, but somewhere, somehow, you might, so don't throw that one out. Um, but that's as simple as that. You just push back the old plug, put that in, um, and um, yeah, away you go. That plugs into here, that clips into there. Now that's also one of your speed controllers. So this is the speed of the trickler. There's two speed controls in the trickler. One is this one, and the other one, of course, is the angle of the trickler tube. We'll talk about that more later. Okay, so that's pretty much what you get in your box. It's, it's quite simple. If you buy the package off Kaizen Tactical, the night you get it home, you're ready to use it. But now I want to talk to you about the upgrade that are available, some of the upgrades that are available. I won't go into brand names, but you're all familiar with some really quality brand names out there. And some of them do all sorts of things like clear top covers and upgraded hoppers and upgraded bases. But I really want to show you um, the Trendtech Engineering uh, upgrade for both the base and the trickler base. So I'll, I'll go and grab one, I'll bring it to the table and show you how that works. So that again, if you see it in one of my videos, you won't need to ask me. Bear with me. Okay guys, here we are with the Trentech Engineering V3 um, integrated upgrade system for the, um, for the combo. Um, Beautiful Australian made Trentech Engineering. If you don't know the guys, some um, lead us some amazing work, really, uh, really awesome tradesmen. Um, have a look at this. So there's your feet. We'll get rid of that box. Get rid of that box. In here, again, this is heavy, it's all billet aluminium. So if you um Again, if you're paying for it, it's ex-Brisbane, so the freight is going to be uh, up there. Um, that is the Trentech base. Now, 
it is just gorgeous, but you'll see that what happens is you take off the 3D printed plastic base that, that it comes with from Auto Trickler. And this one runs a beautiful uh, aluminium thumb wheel at the back. So that comes away from there, that goes on there um, and allows you to adjust your trickler angle um, a lot easier, a lot easier than, than it was. Now in here, we have the second and main part of this device. Have a look at that. Look at the machining on that. I'll get rid of this box. It's got a built-in spirit level, but this is the bit I like. So the back has been all milled out so that your feet just thread in. It's got a little bit of Loctite, a little bit of thread on it so that you can get them right. It gives you somewhere to pick it up later once it's on the bench. Um, nicely etched in with, um, with laser engraving, sorry, with um, machine engraving. But the, the scale has its own little uh, indents so that it locks in place and never moves. So if we take that like that, I'll put it this way, and obviously I haven't got my rubber feet on it yet. This fella goes there and locks in like that, and this fella goes in here, and it doesn't matter whether it's a 120, a 300, or a 500, they all fit, and that locks in and it's in place. That is gorgeous. And what I'm saying to you is, for me now, I can't use it any other way. So if you see my photos and my videos and you think, hey, where's the aluminium bit? It doesn't come with the package when you order a V3 combo with scales and triplets. So that's that. Um, if we take that one away, and here's one we prepared earlier. Take that fella out of there, put that one in there. That goes like that, and then, you'll see here how we can adjust the trickler angle with that thumb screw. It's absolutely beautiful. And that of course is the way you change the speed. So if you're fire forming and you just you don't care about the actual powder charge, you can tilt that down pretty well flat and the powder pours out. If you're getting your comp rounds and you want them to the kernel, you tilt them up a bit until that particular powder kernel size works for you. There's actually a a rate that um, is in the book, but I usually just work by feel and um, I've got it right down to a fine art. So anyway, that's a gorgeous little upgrade, quite expensive. I'll put the link at the bottom for uh, Trentex um, email, um, but we have a lot of our customers buy these to, um, to complement the package. Okay guys, well, um, thanks for watching so far. We're gonna go to a trickler now and show you some uh, tips and tricks. Hey guys, so moving on, just to going back to the manual, read everything twice. I cannot express that enough. Read it twice. Get to downloading your app. Um, it's an awesome little thing. It's so easy to use. Get it on your phone. Call Auto Trickler. Um, the actual device has a little photo of an Auto Trickler on it. It's probably too small to show you on the phone. Um, but once you get that up and running, plug everything in. The next thing is, I want you to be mindful of these cables. They're a really nicely made cable, but the problem is they, they plug in here and they plug in here, and this end, these two ends have these fittings on them that plug into the back of your unit on your scale. Now, what people do, and they've told me, they're quite honest with, them, with me, they'll have this plugged in, and some people cable tie this down here for neatness or something. You know, they tie this down. Leave these loose and don't get them get, hooked, get caught up because when you go to empty your hopper, you're going to want to pick this up, use a funnel and tip it into your powder kernel, and guess what? Everyone goes boom, and they realise they've just pulled on the cable. So after a couple of hundred rounds, oh, I've got a warranty cable. Um, you know, usually they'll either get damaged in the car or, or someone's been rough with them. But, but anyway, just, just be mindful um, that they are something that is... A delicate piece of equipment so I like to be conscious of that when you buy the kit off me I supply you with a, uh, a little breeze break cut template look it's pretty it's pretty basic but it does let you know that when you cut the hole for the trickler don't just cut a little tiny round hole as small as it needs to be or as big as it needs to be 
What I found was when you want to empty your trickler for powder, again, be mindful of the cable, but as you pick it up, you don't want to spill powder onto your tray. So I found that this hole needed to be elongated um, somewhat so that, you can, um, so that you can lift the trickler up and move it out without bumping it or touching the, the funnel. The front one that I use, I feed through the front. Some people um, use their powder cup through one side, left side, right side. Some people put the trickler in from the rear. It's up to you. Trentec does make this for a left-hander as well, so you can order it with the, with the trickler on the other side. Um, I've done mine, again, be mindful if you make the window too small, you will bump your you will bump this on the way out and one day you'll have a loose grip on the thing and it'll fall everywhere. So be mindful of that. Okay guys, another little thing is if you order the Trentec trickler, by a, a trickler upgrade, um, the, you will have to drill and tap a small hole in the centre of your trickler. So that's a job you'll have to do yourself. Um, and um, it's easy to do obviously, but that's what threads that into there and allows the trickler to turn. So it gives it a lot more flexibility and you can aim the trickler tube wherever you want. But what it means is you don't have this on the bench uh, doing its thing, which, is, which works beautifully in standard form until like me, I lean across the bench, I bump it, then I look back and I realise my powder kernels are spraying all over the, over the pan. So that's a really big advantage in going with this upgrade. Now other brands do these sorts of upgrades, but they don't tie it all together. So that's why I think the Trentec thing locks it up. Um, also, if you have a vibrating trickler and you say to me, what is the problem? The two most pro problematic issues are Belts are either worn out, they've left them in the window and the sun's eroded them and you can see all the little cracks in them. That It's important that that belt be twisted. Some people put it on and just go run loop around, they don't actually twist it. Um, but if that belt gets worn or gets cracks in it, it seems to shudder. Uh, and another thing is a damaged cable. So we've had several where a damaged cable has been cut or pinched. Um, and it gets an irregular feed and it vibrates and jumps. We can change that with a new cable. Um, okay, guys, I think that's about it for here. Let's go and have a play and, uh, with one that's set up and get some powder into cases. Cheers. Okay, guys, we just, we're at the machine now, um, which is our setup. So I'm just going to show you some really basic stuff from the start. Let's go. We'll put some powder in. That'll do for now. Powder in there. That'll do for now. As you know, I only ever keep one tub of powder on the bench, never have more than one so you don't get confused. We've turned the scale on. It's been powered. It, it lives on, but I've just turned it on. I've put my tub in, I've put my glass um, pot in, and the um, and we're good to go. So we turn, we go to our phone, find the auto trickler app, tap to connect, connect, and then you've got this beautiful little thing down the, the bottom that says start motor. So see that? See how the trickler is starting and it's filling up the pan? If you look down there, and it's starting to show on your scales. So now we can go back and go stop motor. Now we can cycle the throw, cycle the throw, done, and that stops there. So now we take that out, put that back, put that back in there. And I'm just gonna, for the heck of it now, I wouldn't normally because it's been on, but I'll calibrate. And you'll hear it do its little, do its little process. And then the scale is calibrating. So we're gonna have a zero, zero. So if you're starting to get wandering after a period of time, maybe you've got to check calibration. Once that's done, we're good to go. We go to our app, it says tap to set target. So in this case, I'm doing some, um, some load development for a rifle and uh, we're gonna do some 32.9. So you can either do 32.9, tap it in like that, and then hit start, or if you wanna go you know, plus 0 0.1 to 33 or down to 32.9, 32.8, 32.9, tap to set. They'll find it and it's away. So the 
first throw comes out and spits it out. And then the trickler will fine tune it as long as I don't let my voice touch the pan because it's that accurate, it'll, um, it'll affect the weight. So there it is, 32.88, and that's as good as it's gonna get, let me tell you, because 32.88, and I'm, I'm speaking at that, I'll take that off and I'll use it, because 32, so back in again, and zeros, throw goes, and it'll go to 32.88, 32.9, 32.92, or 32.92, because that is the weight of a kernel. So we're looking for 32.9. So there's your 32.88. I'll take that one and we'll use it. So it's that quick. It's amazing how you'll get, you know, once you've used one of these, you'll just struggle to go back to using anything else. You throw your tweezers away, you just don't need them. If, if one of them comes out wrong or incorrectly, like that one where it's put one extra kernel in, um, I would simply tip that back and go again. It's quicker than it's quicker than um, trying to use tweezers to pull it out. But I haven't spilt a kernel on this machine for God knows I can't remember. The the V3 is unbelievable. So we'll let that pull up at 88 or 0.9. There we go. Take that one out and we'll use it. Do one more for good luck. So once you get rolling, you can start seating whilst this one, so you can usually seat one bullet while one's being done if you're quick enough, but you've got to have a good bench set up in case you bump. So there's the 0.92, I'll accept that one. I'll put that in there. Actually, I'll do two more. I just want to show you something that we're playing with from AMP at the moment, which is a pretty exciting product. So as soon as we do these two, you'll hear it go 32.9. used to that noise and the silence of the night. 32.88. Okay, I'm just going to put that back on there. I'll accept that one later. Okay, guys, I really want to now say thank you for making the time to watch this little video. I hope it's been of a help. I hope it's been a help to some of you that are either considering purchasing or you've had some little um, operational glitches with the one you've got. But, um, but yes, if you're in the market for the world's most accurate powder dispensing system, this is it. Um, drop us an email, sales at kaizentactical.com.au. Again, sales at kaizentactical.com.au. You'll see a link below. Um, and uh, hopefully, yeah, we can, uh, we can get you up and lower those ESs and SDs and get you shooting better groups. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.